see them not just practice the art of combat, they're practicing how to market themselves, they're building brands for themselves, they're building relationships, and they're building audiences. Your referee is controlling the action in the ring tonight and giving instruction is Chris Luna. All right, guys, we've been over the rules in the back. What a nice clean fight. You really understand? If you're watching in the live stream, right, comment. Let's go, Ronnie, North Carolina, make some noise. Who do you got, McRae or Gray? And if you've never watched Christian McRae or Dakota Gray, they are both must-see TV. And I doubt that this fight will be any exception to that rule. Here we go. We're, let's find out. In the words of Christian McRae, let's find out. Dakota Gray draws first blood with the inside low kick. We can expect a very traditional approach from Gray. Good hard teeth from Christian McRae. Dakota tries to answer back, comes in behind the headgear. Fainting of the teeth from McRae. We see faints early on, showing the skill level of these men. That's why they are fighting for the amateur title. Hard left body kick from Dakota Gray. I think the kicks are going to be uh, giving fits to Christian in this fight. Yes. He's Dakota, never fought a kicker on this level. And you look at the, the size of the... Dakota Gray's legs. You look at the power and the, the balance that he throws. That that low kick just folded Christian McRae's leg up. Oh, big cross. He sold out on that. He gave that right hand everything he had. And Dakota Gray cranks Christian McRae's neck, making that clinch position miserable he's for mean. him. Every part of his game is mean. He's, yeah. a, he's a good kid, but when it's time to fight, he's absolutely vicious. Well-timed teeth kick from Dakota Gray, and then another low kick. That was a beautiful low kick by Gray. Another stinger from he, Gray. He has McRae's attention. He's backing up every time Dakota Gray switches. Well, very well controlled sweep. Perfect execution timing. Yeah, and with these North Carolina rules, that that is a, uh, uh, you know, it happens. It happens, right? Yeah. I'm not sure what the rules are. We just we were confused we in our last fight. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. So they're stopping this clinch, but they were letting the other clinches go. So it, it, I'm not sure exactly how, much, how long they're supposed to I think clinch. it's up to, I think it's up to, it's, you know, it's always referee by referee. I think Luda's a little bit quicker to set, set, split it up. Hard jab from Christian McRae. To, he timed out that rear leg push kick from Dakota Gray. Yeah, normally Krishan is the faster man. Oh, left hook on the inside from Dakota Gray. Turns the headgear of McRae, but McRae answers back immediately. Krishan's got to be the more powerful man because he's losing the speed exchange. He's got to be quicker with the accuracy. He's got to be better with the accuracy and power. And that is yeah. round one. And a uh, very close round. I think Dakota outstruck him a little bit there. Yeah, Dakota is too stable and too sturdy. All right? He's too stable and too sturdy. Christian McRae is throwing one, maybe two shots, and then they're crashing into the clinch. Dakota Gray is too strong in there, and that's not working out for him. He's, I think he's going to need to start adding up strikes, start boxing him, start putting volume on him and touching him, and he's going to have to hurt him to slow him down. Yeah. Because he's landed some quality shots, but nothing that's, that's slowed down Dakota Gray. Yeah, the, the one cross he had that you said he sold out on, I think that was his best shot. And it did turn Dakota's head. But, you know, the thing about Dakota, he's been in there so much, he's been hit that hard before. He uses a very stable stance. The way he keeps his legs spread, he keeps his shoulders, his shoulders uh, shrugged and he keeps his elbows flared out, and he's actually engaging. I'm gonna get super nerdy and a little weird. He's actually engaging his lats while he's in the stance, which uh, stabilizes his traps, which stabilizes his neck, which you know, makes the punches not hurt as much. And any good striking coach will tell you that's what you're supposed to be doing. I, I Trevor, when he's teaching me how to strike very recently, and Tyler, when he uh, gives me striking privates, always tell me to keep those lats engaged, keep the wings on. That's a, that's a thing that a lot of people don't. No, that, that you'll be you can be very far into a career and never but if heard you're that. Do, if you're doing that and you're good at it, you like do it every round. Eventually, you'll be able to hold your arms in a guard Ooh. for so long. And that was a nice that, clean. Job. That was a well timed, and then another well timed strike from Christian McRae. He sent the right hand at the perfect time. Well, Coach Todd Monroe, Matrix MMA, Chris John's head coach. He's been very successful in MMA, but he is primarily a boxing coach, and all of his guys have the hands to back. Good up. push kick. Now McRae has the distance dialed down. He's making Dakota miss kicks. Now that Dakota Gray is missing kicks, Christian McRae is free to throw his hands. And he definitely has Dakota Gray's attention and respect now. Yeah, I don't think Dakota's ever fought somebody who's tried to bring personality into a fight, and we see Christian stepping that up a little bit more in yeah. this round. D Dakota Gray coming off the game plan a little. You see him on the breaks now. He's not as committed. He's not as confident in his movement or his strikes as Christian McRae is managing the distance far better. Good low kick from Dakota Gray, but, he, cross, but yeah. he ate the one-two in exchange for it. Left hook from Dakota Gray catches him as the two crash together and they enter the clinch. 
And now McCray makes that adjustment, pushing Dakota Gray to the cage so that he can't use his neck to let, so that you know Dakota Gray can't use that cross face. Christian's talking to him in the clinch as he holds him up against the fence. Dakota yeah. just laughs. That was a good check from Dakota Gray. That yeah. hurt. Even with shin guards on, that hurts. Dakota's is, Dakota is levels above Christian in the kicking. It's the hands that will get Christian back in. Yeah. And he's had some success with the hands in this round. Yeah, if Christian McRae can continue to mitigate these kicks, make a boxing exchange, and then tie up the clinch, he can, he can make sure that this round is his. Because it appears to be a round apiece at this point. Oh! Hard right hand. Oh! Another hard Big right shot hand. Like McRae, McRae smells blood in the water. And now I've never seen anybody back Dakota Gray up like that. To I've never seen anybody make Dakota Gray walk out of an exchange like that. Made him leave empty-handed. Dakota Gray survives the end of the round, taking two extremely hard shots there from McRae. I told you this fight would be tense. I told you that this would be a shootout. And it has lived up to the hype. Dakota Gray laughed off that first punch. That second one, but no he couldn't. Wild. He couldn't laugh off the second. Yeah. It ain't no Adam Sandler movie. And there you see the money man, JT Smith in the corner. What is he saying to Dakota Gray right now? He's one of the best, most cerebral coaches in this area. I mean, especially when it comes to these youth fighters, these younger fighters, he's very, very solid. He's got a foundational team of, of young athletes that are just now, like Dakota, entering the adult ranks. You can you can tell from his body language that he knows how to talk to young men. You know, as they age, sometimes you can get a little more. Start, 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 yeah, and sometimes that helps. That helps some guys. Some guys it doesn't. When they're young, what he's doing right now is what he needs to do. They're going to have to find a way for Dakota to get back to what he was doing in the first round, or maybe come up with a new strategy because Christian McRae has the distance red. And the kicks are not working for Dakota in this round, in round two. I believe that they are around a piece. And I believe that either of them has the ability to finish the other. I believe so too, my friend. Dakota Gray starting to walk backwards now. Dakota Gray walks backwards intelligently. He does it to draw his opponent in for things like flying knees and other big, powerful uh, strikes. Oh, right hand rocks Dakota Gray. Christian McRae again with that cross. It rears its ugly head and finds Dakota's and snaps it back. Dakota Gray trying to kick on the break. McRae just out of range. Hard, hard kick in the middle of the exchange from Dakota Gray. Both guys are in a fire fight. Both guys are taking There's that low kick. And that's that's a big that's a big kick for Dakota. Dakota Good slip. Dakota's busted open up top. Gray was able to slip a right hand for the first time. He slipped to the outside of that right hand. He's he spent a lot of time on these hard low kicks. And he and he has Christian's attention and respect with him. He's gonna need to. And now Faint. he's pressing forward against Christian. He's seeing something. He's feeling something here. Yeah, he, he realizes that Christian's not fighting back in the clinch. He's not moving to improve his position. He's just covering up with his arms. And Dakota Gray is having his way with him in the clinch now. Christian moves to a bear hug and pushes forward, driving their hips together, trying to get a break from the ref. And now the Dakota's ref, talking to him. The ref mercifully saved him from that clinch because Dakota Gray was dominating that clinch exchange. Dakota Gray needs to get back on the gas. He gets warned for knees to the head there too. It's difficult when they're not allowed, but your opponent's ducking, and then he yeah. slips to the he slips to the outside of another right hand. It appears that he has the angle of that right hand read a little bit better in this, this fight, round. This fight has changed so much round to round. A good hard low kick from McCray. Yes, both men have showed three different game plans. We've seen six game plans in this fight so far. That's why these two young men are fighting for a title at this age. Oh, hard knees, and Dakota Gray is going to beg off and call a low blow. Which this actually might be beneficial to Dakota Gray because I believe that Dakota needs gas mm -hmm. to do what he wants to do a little more than McCray does. What the, the style that Dakota Gray uses is a little fuel intensive. I agree. I agree. He, he's bringing a pace, and even his defensive movements are exaggerated. Everything's a little exaggerated. He's tight. He's tight and he's tense that whole time, whereas McCray is a little more relaxed. So any break in the action, I believe, benefits Dakota Gray. As long as he's not shattered down there. He, he looks like he's in a lot of pain right now. And this Matrix, Matrix MMA, this team, they, they have a very, very hard uh, training style. And they, they are constantly fighting in the gym, so I'm not surprised that 
you know, if Chris John can go five rounds, no problem. I know that was one thing that Seth talked about uh, in his matchup analysis was like maybe Chris John can't do five full rounds like with his style. Um, but so far, so good with short time left in round three. And they have both fouled each other at least once in this fight so far, but it does look like this one was a little fight altering. We'll see. Luder's going to give him and let him fight this seconds. last little bit. Look for a flying knee from Dakota Gray as he backs up here. An excellent fight, a championship level caliber. fight. Yeah, this is a this is a higher caliber kickboxing match than we've seen all night for sure. And you know, like I said, both guys are bringing out the best of each other. I've got it two to one, Dakota Gray. I don't mind saying that. Uh, I don't think that it's clear or certain. I believe that someone else could see it another way, but you just see there that on the replay. That was probably the sequence. Yeah, that I would say got him the round. McCray making no, no attempt, no adjustments, no move at all to improve his clinch situation. Right. It appears that he's waiting on a break from the ref. We had a little bit of trouble in the previous fight with Adrian Davis with De La Cruz. We kind of thought the ref would break that clinch, but the, if the ref's not saving you, you have to save yourself. And just covering up with the arms and eating those knees, it, it, it adds up. It does damage to the arms. It weighs them down. A lot of people see the kicks and the knees hitting the arms and they think, oh, they're blocking it. Yeah, sure, sort of, kind of. But you're still getting kicked and kneed in the arms. We are in the championship rounds. I believe this would be uncharted territory for both young men, right? Uh, in an adult, I believe I believe Dakota's gone five rounds before, yes, in a, in a youth championship fight. So this would be uncharted territory for Chris Sean. But like I said, he doesn't he doesn't need as much gas. If I know Matrix MMA, they're they've done a lot of five round work. And every I follow Chris Sean on Instagram, every day he runs. Every day he's doing Oh big rocks shot with the left hook. Gray. He was slightly off balance from the cart kick. And Chris Luters is gonna say call that a no knock. Yeah, he was he was hit and did fall which by the rules is typically a knockdown, but he was off balance and when he was hit. And now he's throwing hard in the, yeah. and I feel like Christian only does that when he's in, in the mix getting hurt. Oh, oh good feint into hard. the right hand and another right hand. Good block with a frame from the left arm of Christian McRae. That lead left hook to the right hand. This is a fight, Buffer. He He has Dakota reaching a little bit. Dakota is reaching for that body shot and he snaps his head back with a jab. But Christian McRae is, is making that rear leg push kick up high to the chest work as well. Yeah, short, short distance, straight he's, line. He's got the distance. He's got the distance. Yeah. He's got the distance measured. Hard left hand from Dakota Gray finds its way in in the middle of that exchange. Christian McRae comes back forward, not even breathing hard. Oh, left and a right. Christian's such a good fainter. He's landed three consecutive big push kicks high on the body like that. He's gotten every reaction that he wanted out yeah. of a good feint. He could go, he could, he could look to change up that kick, either make it a head kick or go back to the low kick or step through with it. But he, good low kick from Dakota Gray. We heard that one, thud. Yeah, that, that is a good shot for Dakota. Dakota Gray choosing to step forward inside that low kick. I mean, uh, excuse me, that, that rear leg uh, push kick. Good, bing bang. We just need him in the head. Yeah. Which Christian McRae was moving his head fairly dynamically in the moment. Dakota Gray apologizes. Christian. <laughs> oh, hard shot from both oh, men. Shot. Hard hooks from simultaneous punches rocked both men. I would think to the same degree. It that they used the exact same move on each other and it did the same amount of damage Incredible. if we were talking in video game terms. Incredible. A, a great fight. A, a really, really great fight. Christian McRae does not look even slightly tired. No. And Dakota Gray is on the struggle bus. Yeah, but he's fighting hard. I, I do, you know, I think it's close. I think it's extremely close in this, going into this fifth round. And as predicted, one of the best fights of the night so far. We knew it's it. not the best. We knew it. Incredible matchup, incredible talents on display, and it all comes down to this fifth round high stakes. I mean, both these guys are so young in their careers that this is not the end of the road, but whoever wins this fight certainly will have a big 
big statement. And they could be two rounds apiece right now. I uh, fully agree. Fully. I kind of think they might be. If you're in the chat, what do you think? Are we two to two? It's either two to two or it's three one to two. Well, let's go around in North Carolina, fifth and final round. Let's make some noise. We got support in the chat. On the line. Let's get it. We got support in the chat from both men. Both guys definitely know they are in a fight too. Like they, they both are wearing damage. Dakota Grace still stepping backwards, stepping backwards, stepping backwards. He uses that to draw his opponent in. I don't think either guy has ever been hit as hard as they've been hit in this fight. I've commentated all of Christian's fights, and I've commentated all of Dakota's adult fights. Dakota Gray is showing a lot of maturity and composure in that he's still finishing up his combos with the low kick this late in the fight. While even tired, though, while hurt. Yeah, while tired, while hurt, and while feeling like he needs to knock this person out to be sure that he wins. Good footwork cutting off the cage. He's got Christian McRae cornered. Excellent uh, offensive footwork from Dakota Gray, keeping Christian McRae's back on the cage. He's stifling him a little bit here with and minute 18 on the clock. Folding his leg inside and outside with those low kicks. Oh, and finishes up with the low kick again. This is this is what a coach always wants. He, a coach always wants you finishing up those combos with low kicks, and it's very scary, it's very difficult, it's very tiring. And Dakota Gray, deep, deep into this fight, still finishing up his combos with low kicks like he's supposed to. Short time left here, less than a minute in our championship fight between Dakota and Christian McRae. I am literally on the edge of my seat. Me this too. thing is so tense. Me too. And the these guys have had so many big moments that I know that another big moment could be way oh, hard body kick. kick. That, yeah, Christian's not. Christian definitely is reacting to that body kick. Yes. He's trying to hide the poker. He's trying to do the poker face. Those are good, those are good hard checks. Oh, nice switch kick from Dakota Gray. He saw two consecutive checks, then hit the switch and got the inside low kick. And that Matrix MMA corner is coming alive. They're calling Christian forward. They're saying, you got to go forward. Neither, I don't think either corner could feel confident right yeah, now. Yeah, they can't be. They can't be. There's no way. I think we're 2-2, two -two and I think this round was pretty cool. Oh, let's go. 10 seconds. Get it. Dakota Gray. Get it. He's got, he's got Christian McGray in a lot of trouble, but Christian McGray is not going anywhere. And as Chris... Wow, that's two dogs right there. Woo! Sam Falgu, let me do my job. As wow, what a A to end the kickboxing tonight. <laughs> wow. The... The only fight that could have followed the last fight. Beautiful fight by both guys. What, what a brawl. A technical brawl, if you will. Woo! Let's go, fight fans, make some noise. Judge's decision will be in shortly. One hell of a fight right there. 145 pound title on the line. One of these fighters will stay undefeated. Somebody's O has got to go. Either way, I want to see a rematch. I like this guy. Fight's already over. Dakota already won. This guy might be a time traveler from five minutes in the future. JP Frank up. I'm here live. Hey, between Christian McGray and Dakota Gray, somebody's O has got to go and somebody's has got to stay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, they pay you the medium bucks. The Bye. medium bucks. Hella medium. <laughs> the bucks are hella medium. We'd like to welcome our lovely Cheetah Girl here tonight. They'll be coming around. Giving out, hey, y'all got free admissions to the club tonight? Don't forget the after party tonight. Where at? Uncle Jesse. Uncle Jesse. Uncle Jesse. All right. Uncle. Judge's decision is in. Judge's decision is in, and we have a split decision. Makes sense. With your winner, going to the red corner, Dakota Gray. A very, very close fight at the end of the Run day. that back. Dakota Gray, in that fifth round, I feel like he made the difference. In that fifth round, I feel like he just didn't go away. He didn't walk backwards. He didn't allow himself to be compromised or to consent. He kept fighting like he needed the fifth round. Yeah, and he was hurt and in a lot of trouble. Give it up for Dakota Gray! 
Yeah. Let's run it back. Chris, I was waiting for Christian McRae to say that. He gives Dakota Gray his props. He makes no excuses, makes no complaints, but he says, let's run it back. If my lip reading is as good oh, as yeah, that's definitely Agent, what he's saying. I'm, I'm like Agent Ethan Hunt over here. Excellent job, Dakota Gray. And to, and to think that this is just like an early chapter in the very, story of these very, two young men's fight careers. Very early. Absolutely. Extremely early in the night still. But they could run that back two times, I'd watch it. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, both guys are all action type guys. And they had exactly the kind of fight I thought. All right. Dakota, you going to take some pictures of those ladies or what? Nope. <laughs> Did you all see your first fight up yet? And that's usually how it goes. I just work here. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, hello. Trevor, so intimately familiar with the process of fighting. He's got to inform everybody. Can you think about the huge sigh, the huge like breath that they had to take? They said, we're going to hand Trevor a, a live mic. Yeah. And we're going to let him hold it. And his job is to walk, be to, to kill time. And walk around unsupervised. Yeah, yeah. A live mic. No scripts, no talking points. <laughs> it's like, hey, just go, just go talk under the microphone. Dakota Gray, very proud. He wants to put that belt around his coach's waist. <laughs> Dakota here, Gray saying, come here, come here, come here wait, not yet. okay, now. <laughs> wait, yeah, now. <laughs> what a nice young man, wrapping that belt around his coach's waist. At least part of the way, right? All right, Dakota Gray, let me get in your ear for a second, oh, bud. Dakota Gray, Dakota Gray. Uh, <laughs> All right, young man. <laughs> Interview the mic. time, yeah, man. Face the mic, I know, sir. the movie doesn't stop yet, all right? We ain't, we ain't to the... Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> all right, Dakota Gray, you are on cloud nine. You have had a heck of a ride in the Carolina fight scene. Uh, this Is this your first adult title? Yes, yeah, it's his first adult fight, How isn't it? How long have you been fighting now? Uh, third. Uh, third, third, yeah. Five years, but I've been in it since I was a kid, for real. No, you, you've spent your whole life in this game. And this came up when your teammate was stepping down, saying that he wanted to let the next generation of the gym fight for the belt. Ryan Taylor is a bad motherfucker. He's coming back, too. <laughs> oh, we are going to see Ryan Taylor come back. All right, I love hearing that. All right, uh, tell me your thoughts about the fight. It looked like an absolute dog match, and it looks like you have more than earned your man card at this point. That's a motherfucking dog I just fought. He ain't have my respect, but he does now. I fuck with him hard. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. How, what is your opinion of the fight? Where did you feel like you really had to dig down the most to know you're going to take that title home? Because, man, y'all had a downright slobber knocker in every inch of this cage, young man. Yeah, my shit leaking, didn't he? Uh, he? You were leaking pretty good. He had some big hands. He had some big hands, but I just had to push through and get the win. I, I died the deep, deep. But I wanted it bad. Well, you dug the deepest tonight, sir. More than worthy of this title. Give a shout out to who got you here tonight. JT, my mom, and all my teammates at Leighton Norman Muay Thai, they all pushed me. Especially Team Rock, too. Sebastian from Team Rock, he pushed me. And I'm thankful for everyone that helped me get here. And thank God, God gave me the strength. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Dakota Gray. The wild spirit. And let me tell you, if you're familiar with